Hello, and welcome to this quick look at some of Stormaker 4's uh, more recent features as of update 1.4. Uh, we've had several updates since it was first released, and I've had a, quite a few requests for uh, videos to go over some of the new features, and that's what we're doing here today. Very quickly, for those who are new to Stormaker 4, we have three live octaves on the keyboard. The first one, uh, in red, triggers the strumming patterns based on the root note of the chord. The latch button lets the pattern continue while you change chords. The green octave has single downstrokes, and the blue has single upstrokes. You can actually play live strum patterns by alternating between the up and down strokes and, uh, and use the sustain pedal. Hitting a single up or down stroke will also stop any pattern that's playing. Now over on this side is where we control the actual chords. Uh, to choose a chord variation, you know, major, minor, seventh, or whatever, just play the root note of the chord, uh, say an F, and then choose a variation up here. Okay, there's minor. So now every time I play F, it plays an F minor. You can also do this by using key switches. To customize a chord, just click on the fretboard. You can turn any string on or off. Once again, your changes are remembered. Hit the chord reset button to go back to the original. Okay, patterns are all controlled over here, and you can save and edit your own. Just hit the edit button. Okay, new features. Uh, first, we've redecorated and we've put up some nice wood paneling. Uh, you know, if you like the old look, just hit this button down here. And oh, there's more. Okay, use this one if you spend way too much time in the studio. Okay, the swing slider is new. Uh, this adds a swing feel to any pattern. While we're on the patterns, we've included a strength slider, which affects the global velocity of the pattern steps, so you can bring down the overall intensity. Right click on this and you can assign the mod wheel to control this. Now you can add more variation to the pattern in real time. Okay, up next are the body resonance controls. We've added some impulse responses of guitar bodies as a way of giving the individual sampled notes of our chords a way to resonate together, you know, like they would on a real guitar. The red LED turns the effect on or off. I've got this effect set fairly low, so it'll be pretty subtle if you're listening on computer speakers. There are several to choose from. The body edit button brings up some controls. The body resonance feature is still a work in progress but it makes such a difference in the overall sound that I decided to include it in this update, but I thought it would also be a good idea to give you some control over the tone. Uh, mix controls the amount of signal sent to the effect. Next is a simple EQ for controlling low-end buildup that occurs with some of the uh, IR samples. There are also pick impulse responses, uh, which you can select here and control the uh, amount with this fader. Also, the selections in the body menu act as presets, so each choice in the menu has its own settings. If you're new to Strummaker 4, please check out the original Strummaker 4 walkthrough video, uh, which is more in-depth as far as how everything works. Thanks for watching. <laughs>